Hi, I'm Carrie Owens, a community animal trainer with the Behavior and Training Team at San Diego Humane Society. Today, we are going to discuss what the positive punishment training method is and why it is not the one that we recommend for you to use. In training methods, the word positive means we're going to add something into the environment. The word punish means to reduce or suppress a certain behavior. In the case of positive punishment, we're going to add something aversive. Aversive means anything the animal doesn't like. This could be smells, sounds, physical sensations that create discomfort, pain, or even something that causes fear. When people use positive punishment, they add something aversive such as a shock, a leash correction, or a yell to stop a behavior after it's already happened. It is important to remember that the behavior is only a symptom and the underlying cause for the behavior is not being addressed with positive punishment. For example, if you have a dog who is barking due to fear and you put a shock collar on them, your dog will likely stop barking, but that doesn't mean the dog stops being afraid. This can actually lead to additional problematic behaviors such as destruction at home, over grooming, self-harm, or bigger, more intense reactions in the future. This happens because we have removed the coping mechanisms your dog used to respond to fear and haven't taught them what to do instead or work to reduce the fear itself. Some additional tools you might see used with positive punishment training methods are choke chains, prong collars, e-collars, spray bottles, cans with coins, air horns, or sudden loud noises just to name a few. These aversive tools rely on using fear or mild to significant pain and discomfort to reduce behavior. As a result, they damage the trust and bond between pets and owners, and in some cases, even injury to the pet. In the moment, it might seem like the tools are working because the behavior stops, but in reality, they aren't working. Because the behavior will happen again, learning has not occurred only an eruption. Because positive punishment requires the animal to fail before being corrected, it doesn't teach them what to do. Instead, this causes frustration, stress, and anxiety in the dog. This is when the dog gives up because they learn that their behavior will not result in the outcome they need or want to happen. This looks like the dog shutting down or responding slowly or with less enthusiasm. So, as you can see, the use of positive punishment is not recommended. Scientists have been researching learning theory in humans and animals for over 100 years now. Since then, science has shown time and time again that the consequences of using positive punishment are, at best, no more effective than other methods and are more problematic than helpful when it comes to a dog's mental and physical well-being. Check out our video on positive reinforcement linked below here, which is the most scientifically supported and humane training method and is the one that we recommend for you. Thank you for joining me and keep your eyes out for more training tips from San Diego Humane Society.